What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I have a little bit of a confession for you guys. Um, <sighs> I regret not buying the Chaos. There, I said it. And now let's sit down and talk about why I regret not buying the Chaos. And a little backstory on the whole Chaos situation that I never even made a video on. Because it was just at the time, I just didn't feel like making it. I thought it was irrelevant. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first, I gotta start the video off by saying I will be at the Milwaukee Snow Show Saturday, October 18th. So, this upcoming Saturday, if you guys are there and you see me, don't be afraid to say what's up. I'm not scary. So, now on to today's video. I regret not buying the chaos. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. I, I had to say it. Sorry. So, I'm gonna give you guys the reasons why I regret it. I Here's a little backstory Spring came around, they released the chaos. And I fell in love with it. I was like the blue with the lime and the purple. That's my like that's my thing right there. Like the lime's my thing. I messed with the purple heavy. I like the blue. I was literally considering getting rid of the sled trading in and getting a 2020 chaos. But like as time went on, I realized I didn't need it. Like I still love this sled. I still have plans for this sled. You guys love the sled. So I was like, why get rid of this when I already have an 850 and I already have an RMK? Like why get rid of it for something else? And then like restart the loan and like do everything else I had to do to get this sled. Like why? What's the point? So I, long story short, I didn't end up ordering a Chaos. I just kind of forgot about it and never made a video on it. Didn't talk about it. It was just a thought for a while and the thought just kind of like left. It's gone. No more. All comes around. People are getting their Chaoses. I'm watching videos on YouTube of people riding them. The reviews on them and fuck. I wish I bought one. See, like the main reason I want the Chaos is not because it looks cool, but it's a better sled for me. Like this is more for your technical rider, going in that trees, steep side hills, all that. Like yeah, I will ride trees. I'll do a little bit of technical riding. I'm not good at it, but I'll do it. But the Chaos is meant to like rip wheelies and carve and rip donuts and fields. Like it's basically a Flatlander's RMK, and I'm a Flatlander. And I ride this RMK that's meant for out west, British Columbia, the mountains. Like, I don't go to the mountains. I go to the upper peninsula of Michigan. That's my mountains. Like, usually I'm riding around home in Illinois in a field or ditch banging it. When I was, like, watching reviews, reading the reviews, and one guy, I forgot, I think it was a Snow Tracks television video, even said, like, this is a Flatlander sled. This is for the younger generation who likes to rip wheelies and do donuts. Like, I was like, bro, he's speaking to me. Like, that's my sled. I should own that sled. So as soon as I heard that, I honestly hopped on like Snowmobile Trader, Sled Swap, and I was looking for like anyone that had a Chaos, any dealership that could like trade this in, get the Chaos this year. And like I realized the prices, like if I snow checked one, I could have got a way better deal through my dealer than I would just pick one up that a dealership has on the floor or someone like dumped and didn't want anymore. Some places are asking like 15, 16 grand, and I know I didn't pay that for this, and I know if I snow checked the Chaos, I wouldn't pay that much. So yeah, that idea is thrown out. Or, like technical riding's fun, but I don't do that. I want to rip wheelies for the videos and look cool in the videos and look cool in front of other people and I want to carve and whip donuts in open fields. That's what I want to do the most and like I feel like the wheelies look cool on video, you guys like the wheelies. Um, obviously you guys would probably like it if I rode this how it should be ridden. I can't say I'm mad that I'm keeping this sled because I love this sled, it's fun to ride, it's honestly like amazing, it's truly the best sled I've ever had, the best sled that I believe is on the market. I love the 850 Pro Arm K, but I definitely would like a Chaos and if they're still around next year and still a thing, there's a good chance that I'm probably going to dump this sled in the spring and snow check a chaos as long as like everything works out. And, like I could trade this in for a good amount or sell it for a good amount. I'll probably end up getting rid of it for a chaos next year. But we're stuck with this for this year, which I shouldn't even say stuck with it because I'm super happy to have it. So like super thankful to have it. I want the chaos, but this isn't it. We're going to turn this into a chaos as much as possible. So to do that, I'm going to basically just do the basics. Stiff in the front track shock and hopefully that'll help pop on top of the snow a little bit more than it does ready because I have not touched my shocks since I got the sled. I never like adjusted or set it up. So definitely gonna stiffen my front track shock all the way and see if that helps. And I was also thinking about doing a clutch kit. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I've mentioned this multiple times before. I need your guys' insight on it because I've never done it. I have no experience with it. I was looking at the BMP Stage 2 clutch kit. Uh, I don't even know if that's a good clutch kit or not, but if it is and you guys run it, let me know. Like, is it gonna help pop the front end up? Because that's really what I want is I want this thing to catwalk. Like. I want to crack that throttle and be just freaking 12 o'clock ripping. Also, like to get the opportunity to ride a Chaos this year. I don't know how I'm going to do it or where I'll find one to ride because I don't know anyone with one or anyone that got one. So, hopefully there's like a demo or something where I could rip one real quick. But uh, I think it'd be super fun to ride it and do a little review for you guys and see if I truly like it. It's everything I thought. 
because from what I'm hearing, it's incredible and it's exactly what I would want. So yes, quick video on why I regret not buying the Chaos. If you guys think I should get a Chaos next year, comment down below saying I should get a freaking Chaos. I need you guys' motivation for me to go out and freaking buy one because they're expensive, I'm not gonna lie, and I already have this sled. So let me know down below if you want me to buy a Chaos and also smash a like on this video for a Chaos because I think that'd be pretty sick. All right, and that's a wrap on today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Riding with the top down, yeah. I'm with my shorty, she gon' drop down, yeah. I'm on a high, I'm feeling way up, yeah. I'm in that new fit, looking laced up.